Anderson Hoops at FedEx Forum, home of the Grizzlies, and we're bringing it to you live on 2K Sports. Great to have you with us, everybody, live on 2K Sports, alongside Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. I'm Kevin Harlan. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. And guys, checking out Michael Conley. What can we see here with him? He's pretty fun to watch, Kevin, because of his ability to adjust his shot in midair. Uh, it just seems like he can hang there longer than the defender can, and that allows him the time to get that shot off. And he is also a very savvy on-the-ball defender. Uh, he'll turn a crossover into a turnover if you try it against him. Back in Memphis, the Grizzlies tip off the beginning of a homestand. Well, it's been an improvement this year over the last season. They made a lot of adjustments and happy to see that they translate into some tangible results. When I look at Memphis, boy, they've been one of the big stories of the early season so far, and for all the right reasons, too. Yeah, that's right. They've been better than anybody could have predicted uh, to this point. They don't have a lot of star power, but they, they play together. The pieces seem to fit. And, uh, you know, they were flying under the radar, but all of a sudden now people are starting to recognize how good they are. And the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs. Yeah, I like that. A foul to save the layup. Make him earn it at the line. He hits the second from the line. Here is Rondo. Doris Burke has an update for us, Doris. Hey, Kevin, I had a chance to talk with head coach of the Grizzlies. With this being their first meeting of the year, he stressed to his team to rely on their instincts on the offensive end, saying, we do a good job of finding soft spots and defenses and not forcing anything. As long as we can continue doing that here, we'll be in good shape. We'll see if that holds true, guys. Thank you, Doris. And their ability to generate good, high percentage shots are key here, guys. And what that means for them is they need good ball movement, uh, just passing and good spacing. They've got to execute offensively. Well, those are all the ingredients in creating high quality shots, Steve. And that's exactly what they need to try to do. Rising high to throw that one down. Sky high. Fantastic one hand jam. Yeah, what a way to wrap up that possession. Pass. And it's Gasol with the rebound. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. The Celtics shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. The free throw drops for Bass. And so Bass nails both of them. You know, he's as close to a sure thing as you can possibly have when he steps to the line. In to Zach Randall. Well, time pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. They ran that inbounds play perfectly there to get the quick hitter. Thornton with it, and Allen picks him up defensively. Bass with a screen for Ronda. Feeds to Bass. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Rondo's got three assists now in this one. Last game for the Celtics, they pick up the win against the 76ers in Philadelphia. And if you look at their numbers in that game, what jumps out most is the balance offensively. They really spread the wealth. And they were on fire in all areas. That was a very satisfying road win. Here's Green, and out of bounds is Memphis gains possession. Well, there haven't been many misses at the line for this group of players. This is how the shooting guards around the league stack up when it comes to free throw shooting in the past 10 games. Marcus Martin fourth. Yeah, this is a set of players that can drive and slash, hoping to draw contact because if they can get to the bucket and the foul, it's an automatic three-point play. And you know what, Steve, even if some calls go against them, you know, as a coach, you can accept it because when the calls go their way, they're automatic cash money at the strike, ATM time. So it more than makes up for the charge calls they might get whistled for. And that one's good. And he shows us he knows how to finish with a flourish. That drive by Carter, working on Green. The shot's good from Carter. So I tell you what, that is a lot harder than it appears. You've got to get your body angle just right to shield you from the defense. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Celtics. And the points they're getting in the lane will really help them open up the floor. Also, what passing we've seen from them here early. I mean, there could be a big number in the assist column if this keeps up. Eight of the last ten points at that end of the court have been scored on very high percentage shots in the paint. And yeah, it's not necessarily strategic, but it's just a matter of playing with more heart. Got to play hard, guys. How about that now? What a sensational finish. Oh, Got to be able to get some hang time to do that. Yeah, you got to rise and 
Just levitate. Suspend yourself. Yeah, <laughs> levitate. Like, oh, and glide. Yourself. And glide. You got to glide in and reverse it home. So sweet. Here's Rondo following the score by Memphis. That shot wide open. Seven points for Jeff Green. Rondo with the nice dish. There's the triple. Vince Carter, the bucket, and the assist by Allen. He's feeling it here to start the game. That's three out of four already. Rondo against Connor. Rondo kicks to Thornton. Now the pass to Green. Tipped away. Stolen by Carter. Jumps up. Rips down the breakaway slam. Boy, extremely opportunistic defense leading to those points there. That dunk clock coming within seconds of the steal. I love the way they convert from defense to offense. But that's what happens when you get all five guys on a string defensively ready to react and make a play. And Boston has possession following the score by Memphis. Lock at six. Rondo can't get it to go. Now you can see why the defense is willing to let him take that shot. That's really not his range. And the rejection by Randolph. And it's Memphis on the break. Deflected. It's stolen by Bass. And out of bounds as the Grizzlies gain possession. Here we are in November. Let's see how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. Taking a look at San Antonio. Off to a great start this season. Currently in second. And of course the Grizzlies. They're sitting in third place. Looking at Memphis. But the way they started the season, they'd have you thinking they were one of the favorites coming in instead of the exact opposite. <laughs> yeah, Clark, I mean, there were a lot of teams getting a, a ton of attention in the preseason. And uh, let's just say they were not one of them. Kufus checked in for Mark Gasol. Green kicks to Rondo. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Rondo's got his second bucket of the game to go. It's stolen by Green. Kicks it to Bass. No one near him. Cannot hit. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to the Raptors. They had major problems at the charity strike in that game. It was interesting. They just could not make free throws. Yeah, and that's frustrating to watch, especially on the road where your opportunities at the line tend to be a little more sparse than when you're at home. Boy, you've got to cash in on them. Allen kicks to Kufus. What a smooth finish. Well, he's certainly the one they want on the end of those break. He always finishes small. Boston's gone 102 from long range in the first quarter. Thornton dishes to Bass. Here's Sollinger. And, uh, oh, here, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup. And while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not. But sure enough, they have. So we've got a couple of free throws coming up. So Boston going with almost an entire new group. Memphis leading. Clark, this is the first they're seeing of Boston. This may not be an opponent they're overly familiar with, but it didn't stop them from winning both of the games they played last year. And here is Wallace. It's Young on the wing. All sorts of time. Count the bucket. The thing you notice right off the bat from the statistics, just his three-point percentage. I mean, it's a terrific number, and it's a combination of things. Good shot selection, mechanics are solid, and his movement on the perimeter is outstanding. And you know what, Steve? We also have to talk about his shooting. I mean, the fact that he coached with tight D better than anyone is something to make note of. His percentage stays the same, and if he's wide open, he's automatic. Now here is Carter. After Gerald Wallace's miss. What a great game for Vince Carter in this one. He's already got 12 points, and also those active hands of his have led to a pair of steals. Yeah, Clark, he's had a great presence defensively. He's thrown off their rhythm on several occasions. Boston making a switch here. And here we go. Fast break. Wallace has got it. And stolen by Hoover. Here's Lee. Carter outside. And taken away by Wallace. And here's Young. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Grizzlies. It looks like they're ready to run, fellas. I mean, they haven't hesitated at all to get out on the break so far. And the other thing they're doing is forcing a lot of turnovers, and that's helping them to get easy points at the other end. Lee left side. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Udrick can't hit. 
The Celtics shooting 47% from the field to start things off. There's a good screen. The second chance effort and the basket by Olenek. Memphis trailing here. There's 42 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And so it looks like the Grizzlies will retain possession here. Tyler Zellers checked in for Boston. There's 38 seconds left in the first. You know, a team's rebounding is one of the great measures of its energy, and theirs has been terrific in the first quarter. Yep, they were ready to go right from the opening tip. Here's Young. It's rebounded by Memphis. Prince, the pass to Stokes. Udra, he dishes it to Clark. Lee outside. Lee with another miss. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Young with the ball. Here's Udra. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And indeed, they're going to look at it again. They need to be certain he beat the buzzer. You know, I've always felt that video review was a great addition to the NBA rules, especially when it could have such an impact on the outcome of the game. I agree, Clark, and very tough to tell on this one. We don't see a lot of these reviews, but a good percentage of reviews ultimately end up in an overturned ruling of what was originally thought to be a basket or not. And they've seen it off. The basket will not count. The quarter has come to an end before the shot. Still important to have a second look at it, Kevin. I mean, the technology. <laughs> Tune in Wednesday. Well, it's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. And what do you guys think about Boston here in this one? They've done a nice job on the offensive boards here, guys. And I think that was the difference in that first quarter really pounding the offensive glass. Well, they set the tone early with their mindset, their tenacity, and their hustle. I mean, that's the way they've come out, and it's um, served them well. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Taking a look at the Grizzlies. Earl Clark is out there with Tayshawn Prince. Then it's Lee, and it's Udrich, and it's Stokes in at the five, roaming the paint. Well, Celtics shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And over the course of the season, guys, they've shot a very respectable 78% from the line. Yeah, in general, they've been very solid. I mean, free throw shooting isn't something they've had to worry about too much this season, guys. Mark Gasol's checked in for Memphis. Adams comes in for Beno Udra. Number 36, covered by Lee. Back to Wallace. Number 36. A three-pointer off the mark. His leads have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Prince kicks to Clark. Lee, he feeds it to Clark. Nailed from three-point land. Clark's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Number 36. And Gasol sends it back. And now, here's Lee, the fast break opportunity. The shot's good from Adams. An assist like that has typified their effort today. Great ball movement. Really an example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. The Grizzlies shooting the sixth attempt at the free throw line tonight. Austin making a switch here. Celtics trail by five. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Number six. A putback and the jam by Tyler Zeller. That is a booming putback. Step aside, fella. They wanted <laughs> nothing to do with him there. At least not with the ball in his hands and the rim in sight. Adams against Trumbull. Adams, the pass to Lee. Shot clock at five. Memphis needs to get off the shot here. And the shot is good. Adams has got six points. All these open threes they're giving up have really been the driving force of this run. I agree, guys. And the points add up in a hurry when you start giving up easy looks from long range. 
As the season ramps up, Kevin, let's take a look at how the Grizzlies are doing in the team rankings. Fifth in rebounds, sixth in free throw percentage. And they're in the top ten in fewest turnovers per game. And they really do emphasize taking care of the ball. And you put all those things together, and that makes this a very tough team. And what really jumps out at me is the rebounds, Clark. I mean, this is a team that it controls the paint. Uh, if you're going to miss a shot, the ball seems to be theirs almost every time. That allows their transition game to get going. And then at the offensive event, they'll pound you on the offensive glass as well. timeout called by Memphis. Well, he's got to get everybody on the same page. I mean, that's the reason for this timeout. And if that happens, I think they can improve and start playing better. You know, it's a coach's job to always try to be two or three steps ahead of the opponent and to look for that extra edge if you can. And I think he feels like he might have seen that. And the basket by Thornton. Tayshawn Prince. This is a look at the NBA's assist leaders over the last 10 games. Man, can these guys pass the ball? Third, Ron Sean Rondo. Just dropping dimes these recent stretch of games. And it's Carter penetrating. From 10 feet out, they get it again. Second shot opportunity. And Gasol with the lay-in. Gasol's got his second bucket. Things have changed a little bit here in the second quarter, guys, and we're seeing them start to convert a lot of second-chance opportunities. Yeah, and I'm sure the coach has to be happy about this. I mean, the hustle underneath is paying off in a big way. Dishes to Banks. Working on Gasol. Number six. Off target with his three. Almost surprised that he had that much room to work with. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Back and down is Green. And another basket for Boston. And what I like about him, he needs very little time to get his shot up. If he has just a bit of room, that's all it takes. In a catch-and-shoot situation, he's going to let it fly. And something else that comes to mind with him is how many guys he's given the post of treatment to. I mean, flying high to power one down while the defender stands there looking for mercy. Look from Rondo. Shot is no good. And it's Memphis the other way. Lee goes in. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Look at Toronto. They like where they stand right now, perched in that topmost position. And checking out Boston, three games behind. You know, looking at the Celtics, I tell you what, they've come out of the gates quite impressively here, and it's a bit of a surprise considering how they played a year ago. Yeah, and if they keep playing like this, I think they've got a chance to make some serious noise in the playoffs. I mean, they've got to be very encouraged. That's foul number two on them. They might not warrant sitting him entirely, but, uh, you know, another one before halftime, they could, they could be in some trouble. Stolen away. Oh, and here we go with Lee. Nobody down. And he gets off the fast break with a monster slam. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Well, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. Now the dish to Rondo. Just five on the clock. Pass. Will it go? And it's Gasol with the rebound. Major defensive laps right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. And Adams kicks the lead. Tries to keep it alive. Gasol no good. Celtics trail by 11. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. For Memphis, they've gone 7 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. Lee kicks to Gasol. Adams. 
Lee outside. Memphis moving that ball around. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Boston Celtics. They'll be playing host to Portland for the next game. They'll start a three-game homestand with that game. And the Celtics making a change here. Boston's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. So the Celtics call timeout their first. Is to Green. Passes it to Bass. Tries again. He lays it in. Bass has got eight points. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. So that's become one of the stories of the first half, Clark. Just piling up points in the paint. The Grizzlies with another miss. Celtics trail by seven. Rondo passes to Green. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. And that's 11 points for Jeff Green. Guys, he shot a very good percentage today, and they've needed it. Conley kicks to Carter. And that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. And with a quick break in the action, let's take a look at some of the stats for Michael Conley. Seventh in steals. And, of course, passing such a big part of his game, one of the top 15 leading assist men in the NBA. And, Steve, I think we should take a look back at his top 10 steals ranking that you mentioned a bit ago. I mean, that's impressive. This guy gets it done. Jumps the passing lanes when appropriate, but he also can pick the pocket of the ball handler, too. Grizzlies have gone 6 of 8 from the free throw line tonight. Well, pretty good numbers this season at the line for this club. Right around 78% as a team. And that's a little better than they did last year from the free throw line. Well, yeah, he had not established position. You know, I prefer the refs to whistle with a block when in doubt. I thought that was a good call there. Pass to Sollinger. And the basket good. Zellinger's got five now. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. Misses the three. Even against solid defense, he's still going to try to continue to make that shot. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I wouldn't bet against him in that situation next time. Such a wide open look. Now it's just a three-point Grizzly lead. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but their cutting, their movement together as a unit that's led to that. Maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. And we know he's capable of those memorable dunks. So you know, they've got a nice lead. Don't take any chances. The simple one-hander is just fine. Rondo against Conley. Rondo dishes to Banks. Five on the clock. Green. The shot misses. Great D that time from Clark. He lobs it up. And Vince Carter with the slam. Phenomenal alley oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Mm, yeah, this is threatening to get kind of ugly out here. Conley against Ronda. Pass to Thornton. Three pointer. Thornton's got seven points in the game. He's really starting to ramp it up now, getting involved in the offense here after being held without a point in the first. And Carter backs in. He's made two of his three attempts tonight. Well, you look at the numbers on the season, he's shooting 86% from the free throw line. And, you know, with those numbers, he makes a defender hesitant to get too tight on him. I mean, he doesn't want to get whistled for the foul and put this guy on the line. Celtics trail by six. Outside Rondo. He passes it to Selinger. Back to Rondo. He kicks to Thornton. Fires the three. Grizzlies with the rebound. Randolph's got his third rebound tonight. Here's Kufus. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Kufus has got six. 15 seconds left in the first half of basketball. And it's Rondo penetrating from deep Horton. 
and it's Thornton again missing. Here's Allen. Can't get it to go. And so that brings the first half to a close. Risk now, presented by Sprint. Thanks for joining us. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. All right, the second half beginning in just a moment. Look at Vince Carter in this game. I mean, he's been everywhere. Just a pleasure to watch him play basketball. The way he sets up his teammates, his passing, his decision-making, very impressive. Yeah, Steve, everything has been running through him, and he's doing a really nice job of racking up those assists. On the court for the Celtics, they've got Green. Bajan Rondo is out there with Thornton. Then it's Jared Sollinger, and it's Bass in at the four. Stolen by Michael Conley. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. These are the teams that have been really dominant in the paint so far this season. Fifth best, the Grizzlies. Yeah, this team's success has always been tied to their rebounding. Just a physically dominant club. Rondo drives in and finished off by Bass. I like that they're taking it inside and taking advantage of each opportunity Clark to chip away at the deficit yeah and doing it with the dunk is a major energizer too gets the momentum going yeah and I think the interior defense as good a job offensively as, as we saw the defensive presence was almost non-existent you know, they may see this lead disappear if they continue to give up those easy points Celtics trail by six and it's Rondo penetrating outside for Thornton the feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Thornton's got nine points. Great move to the hoop, and I love the finger roll finish. And that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. Here's what Memphis has lined up on their schedule. They host the Clippers after this game. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. I know I'll be looking out for the final score of that Clippers game. I think it's going to be close. Carter and the serious jump to finish it off. That's a big boy dunk right there. Grown man sledgehammer dunk. That was a violent attack on the rim. Oh, man, was it ever. So it's the Celtics now. They'll be playing host to Portland for their next game. And that's the first game in a string of three straight at home. A lot of fans focused on that matchup for Portland. Perfect on their first three shots now. That's the way to start the second half. Conley, the pass to Allen. Carter, headed by Green. The Grizzlies have attempted 11 free throws today and converted eight of them. That's good from Carter. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. And Thornton kicks to run. There's the feed to Sullinger. Outside, Green. Here's the pass to Selinger. Six to shoot. Rondo. Nice ball movement by Boston. Bass's shot. Good. Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They've got a battle inside. Well, this game has been tough, Clark. I mean, they're getting after it. And I think they're starting to run a little bit low on energy, possibly. Here's Allen. Celtics. And uh, he's just had one attempt at the line early. Well, not the best statistic for him. I mean, his performance at the line, of course, is very low numbers. Well, it definitely was a disappointing part of his game this year. Uh, not the numbers he was hoping for from the strike. Uh, even though he couldn't get them all to fall, he did at least make it a two-possession game. Celtics trail by five. Thornton for three. Offensive rebound. Four for five so far. That's their first miss of the second half. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Outside Rondo. Feeds it to Banks. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Bass has got eight here in the quarter. We're seeing him bring that shooting percentage up now, guys. The first half was a struggle for him. He got a little room at the rim and laid it in. Great play. For Boston, they've gone five and six so far from the field in the second half. Tremendous efficiency. Now a timeout called by Boston. Vince Carter really making a difference here. He's on fire. They needed to put their heads together to figure out how to get the ball out of his hand. And 
Sam Bass kicks to Green. Knocked away. Out of bounds. Celtics ball as Boston keeps possession. And here we get a chance to check out the story on Brandon Bass. He's been having a nice year. 19th in free throw shooting. And he's been using his size and quickness to great effect defensively. He's in the top 20 in the league in blocks per game. And as for his free throw percentage, Steve, I mean, there's not much you can fault there. He just picked up his fourth personal foul, and now he's got some foul trouble hanging over his head, guys. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Thornton dishes to Rondo, kicks to Bass. Green, down to five on the shot clock. But Trey gets alive by Boston. That's out of bang down low. His hard work gives him another possession. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Gerald Waltz is checked in for Jeff Green. And it's Rondo penetrating. Cloak loose. Bass passes to Rondo. He dishes it to Bass. Stolen by Michael Conley. Gasol gets to Carter. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. And now a seven-point Grizzly lead. You know, it seems like when they've gone to him, he's really come through. And that's not something they should get away from. To the paint. And Jared Sellinger, the bucket on the assist by Rondo. And that's now seven points for Jared Sollinger. Randolph goes in, knocks it loose. Here's Wallace. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. They've led by as many as 11 points. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. Some changes for Boston. Olenek is checked in for Jared Sullinger. And it's Green in for Brandon Banks. Look from Wallace. Nice shot from the wing. He's not their first option, but not a bad fallback either. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. And let's take a quick peek at the 2K leaderboard and the steel leaders from the point guard spot for the last 10 games. Fifth best, Michael Conley. And not only are these players tremendous at picking ball handlers' pockets, but as terrific point guards, they know how to clog passing lanes and come up with a lot of steals that way as well. Absolutely. Their steals come from all over the court and in all sorts of situations. Transition, half-court set, out-of-bounds plays, in the lane. They are the NBA's most complete defenders at the one-guard spot. But they'll get another chance. Carter... Gets Prince on the wing, passes it to Stokes. Carter against Green. Oh, trying for it. Olenek with the steal. All alone, throws down the breakaway jam. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. Allen kicks to Conley. And another miss by Memphis. Boston's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. That puts them in the lead. And the Celtics lead by one. Clark and Steve, either side has relented a bit in this back-and-forth affair. Well, eight lead changes, Kevin, so far as the teams are battling it out here in the third. And it's all building towards what could be a great finish. This will be fun to watch. And a moment here, take a look at some of the hustle stats for the Celtics. Boy, they're hounding, harassing them for the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And they've really done a nice job on the glass, too. A lot of second-chance points here tonight. The Celtics making a switch here. Sellinger's checked in. On its way from Thornton for two. Tayshawn Prince with the rebound. You know, something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound totals are, are almost identical. No separation there. Not yet, anyway. Here's Hudrick. He feeds it to Carter. Cannot hit. Good defensive work there by Young. Ball's not loose. Hit his foot. And the ref saying he kicked it. Marcus Gasol has checked in for Memphis. Randolph comes in for Tayshawn Prince. Carter against Young. And stolen by Hudrick. 
And here's the fast break. Udra leading the way. Puts the lead pass in front of him. And that one comes up a bit short. Here's the Celtics with the ball. A big stretch here going 10 2. Boy, great job of attacking on the break. Yeah, it sure was. He made a beeline for the bucket as soon as they got the ball. Right away, straight to the rim. Carter kicks to Udra. Back to Carter. Beyond the arc. And it's Carter again missing. Very little success for him behind the arc today. Just one three-pointer in the first half and still none in the second. The defense was ready for him that time, and they had to be. He is so powerful in the lane. Allen, that's good. Even with the D lurkers, he made it look easy with the soft finger roll. Boston making a switch here. Conley's checked in. That free throw good from Allen. 59 seconds left in the third. That's tipped. And now the Grizzlies. Fast break. A chance at a two for one if they want it. Yeah, no question. If I'm them, I'm definitely going two for one. Rondo kicks to Bass. Dishes at the green. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Randolph can't hit. And they force the miss with that good defensive rotation. They're playing well together as a unit. Bass dishes to Rondo. That's good. Rondo's got six. I don't know who was supposed to be on him there, but clearly a mistake by the defense. Picked by Randolph. And Udrich kicks to Randall. Excellent defense from George Sollinger. That concludes the third quarter. It continues to be an exciting Sunday. Welcome back, everyone. We're ready to get going again as this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports continues. Players are topped off with Gatorade, hydrated, and ready to get going again as well. Carter is out there with Zach Randolph. Then it's Conley, then it's Lee, and it's Gasol. And at the five, that's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. Lee passes to Carter. Fires from the line, and it comes off the front of the rim. Boston leading by five. Back to Wallace, and that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Sellinger defended by Gasol. The dish to Sellinger. That's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Nine points for Jared Sellinger. Well, we've seen that more than a few times. An easy bucket in the lane. Yeah, the interior defense simply has been lifeless. No good from Lee. Nobody near him. He'll normally make that one. Rondo kicks to Thornton. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. And it's a nine-point Boston lead. Back to Carter. They need this. It's rebounded by Thornton. Thornton's got his third rebound tonight. The Celtics have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. They get it back. The Celtics working the ball around now. To the middle. Tipped. And oh, here we go. Carter's got it in the fast break chance. Conley gets the bucket. Well, that's the easiest opportunity an offense can get off a steal. Exactly. No defense for that. Marcus Thornton on the lane. The shot will not go. And he continues to search for his rhythm. It's eluded him to this point. Conley dishes to Randolph. There's Lee with the three. Good on the shot. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Kevin, the head coach for the Celtics, had some instruction for his guys during that break. He said, we are this close to finishing them off, but the job is not done yet, and I don't want to see any let up out there. We'll see how well his point got across, guys. Jeff Green, he's checked in for Boston. 
Talk about great numbers. For Lee, 13 points, and he's drained three three-point bombs so far. I'll tell you what, he should not hesitate to keep firing from out there because he's got the touch tonight. The Celtics making a switch here. Boy, they're making it look easy here. I mean, they're just automatic from the line. Jeff Green on the wing. Puts up a three. Here's Bass. Thank in off the glass. Bass has got 10 points here in the second half. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Yeah, that's five of their last six baskets inside the lane. They have really established themselves inside. He has not shot the ball well here, and I think it's, it's time for him to start looking for his teammates a little bit. Makes the first. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. The Grizzlies trail by six. Conley with it. Now Green defending. The saw somehow misses the one handed flush. Pass to Thornton. He kicks it to Green. To the inside. Pass. Pass to Thornton. Let's the three fly. That's good. Thornton's got five points in the quarter. Well, Kevin, probably his greatest value lies in his tremendous three-point shooting. When he's out on the perimeter, it gives them the ability to really stretch the defense out. And his body control is something else I like about him. I'm not sure how he does it, but the way he's able to hang in the air and change the shot to get it around the defender is purely amazing. Randolph passes to Carter. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Green kicks to Thornton. And again, Boston with the triple. Getting the feel out there from long range, guys. That's his second three of the half. Conley into the lane. Boston Powell. That's good from Conley. And Conley drops them both. Celtics leading by eight. Number 36, over by Conley. The feed to Bass. Plenty of space. Vince Carter grabs the miss. Carter's got six rebounds now in the game. Rejected by Thornton. Gasol kicks to Carter. Gasol is screen on green. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And that is a foolish mistake right there, guys. Uh, you know, I, I don't think you can just have that happen. I mean, it's something that you just can't allow if you're going to play good basketball, if you're going to play winning basketball. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Michael Conley. That's foul number two for him. I like the call. I thought the defense was moving there. Yeah, I think he slid underneath. Good blocking call that trip. Poked away. Stolen by Carter. And that passing lane wasn't open for long. He closed it down in a heartbeat to get that steal. Guys, that's simply superb. Ball pressure, a run out, and then a dunk in transition. Exactly, Clark, what they want. The aggressive defense to lead to. Yeah, points in transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling the ball because you can get easy points out of it at the other end. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. So it's Boston now. Number 36, over by Conley. The pass to Thornton. A rebound by Carter. Boy, that's a warm-up jumper there. I mean, when you're a pro, you can't make excuses for missing that one. Got that bucket in in no time at all. And it's six points for Mike Conley. Definitely doing his part because he's made his share of clutch buckets here in the fourth. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Michael Conley. Drops in the breakaway layup. Now just a four-point Celtic lead. And the defense paying instant dividends. Fast break basket. Yeah, that transition was immediate. Didn't waste a second getting out on the break. Austin's gone three of five from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Carter. And now here's Lee, the fast break opportunity. That's good from Carter. Tony Allen's checked in for Memphis. 
Carter hits them both. Now you can't say enough about his composure in big moments. He's as cool as they come, guys. Number 36, over by Conley. They get the rebound. Selinger misses the layup. He had him with that bump thing. They've definitely hit that groove offensively. They sure have, guys. I mean, really aggressive. And I like that posture and mindset. Stay aggressive. Yeah. Steve, you like groove, don't you? I do. I love groove, Kevin. And I love the attack mode this team is in, too. I mean, they're really getting into the paint. They're getting whatever they want offensively. That's good. Zellinger's got four this quarter. Nice pass. He got the ball right into his teammate's shooting pocket. On time and on target. Here's Randolph. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Conley's got his eighth assist in the game. Really not hard to see why they're giving up points on this run. I mean, they've just given them too many looks inside. Yeah, I mean, they're just getting pounded in there. The defense not offering much resistance. They've got to force the ball back out to the perimeter. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Earl Clark's checked in for Gasol. And it's Lee in for Zach Randolph. Here's Thornton. Soft touch off the glass. Thornton's got 21. He is just tearing it up this quarter. That lead's not going anywhere while he's this high. Conley kicks to Carter. That's good. Carter's got 31 points. These defenders look overmatched right now, especially inside. Yeah, you look at the numbers. 10 of the last 12 points have come from close range, so I agree. The score now all even. 10 points for Mike Conley. Are you sensing or feeling the theme here, fellas? I mean, they're taking it straight to the bucket every time down. And why not? And that's eight straight points in the paint for this team. They're making this a very physical battle. What a display of offense we've seen today, and it's only getting better. Well, both defenses have been on their heels all day, and it's begun to take its toll. Well, they've done a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring in the paint. Well, and that's why they're on this run, guys. They're getting the ball inside and getting really high percentage looks. That's really a tough call. One you don't like to see, but it was called, and now he's got to really make sure that he's on top of his game here in regards to not picking up another foul. That was his fifth right there. And John Rondo has checked in for the Celtics. Clutch free throws there, fellas. This one's a barn burn. Tight as me in an airport laboratory. Now in for three. And Boston with the rebound. They've led by as much as 10. It's stolen by Allen. Money! That is a blood shot if I've ever seen one. Yeah, very gutsy there. What more can you say? He got it done at the best time. Rondo with it. Marcus Thornton on the wing. A lot of action in this one for Thornton. He has 23 points, and he's played for three three-pointers as well. Yeah, productive day for him for long range. And so both free throws are good, and it's a two-point ball game. Free throws don't get much bigger than that, but he made it look easy to put him in front. Allen dishes the lead. Back to Allen. Memphis moving it around to take the lead. Knocks down the trifecta. Big time bucket there, Clark. And Kevin, the crowd is loving it. Well, they know exactly how big that shot was. Rondo with it. Conley picks him up. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Rondo drives in. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. He's able to hit the second one, and that ties the game up. I'm sure he feels like they should have the lead right now, but that miss will keep it all tied up. Conley off the pitch from Clark. Conley the pass to Clark. It falls! And that's why teams emphasize the use of screens and picks, just to get you some open looks like that one. Rondo gets to Thornton. The three won't fall. So a close game sees Memphis take this one. Clark, it was anybody's game right to the very end. Yeah, it was. The coaches have to work me out. 